everybody, Ann here, sitting in the tiny house, having my coffee with all of you, and it's been raining. It's been raining all night. It started raining, well, earlier than I thought, then it stopped a little while, then we got a torrential downpour. It was a really bad, bad storm, and um, I got a tornado alert and all that kind of stuff. Um, it didn't touch down around here. It was like northeast of here, southwest of Lexington, anyhow. Um, I don't think it was very serious. I haven't checked the reports yet, but... Um, I was out trying to get the chickens in. It was just before dusk, and um, I was panicking because a couple of them didn't want to, Miss Pris didn't want to go in, and I think I know why, um, and I'll show you that later if it ever stops, it, it, if it ever stops raining, but anyhow, so you know how you can kind of tell how far away a storm is by how long it takes for the lightning, the sound of the lightning to get to you? Man, I was out with a gentleman um, trying to get them all in, and it was like, Boom! And it felt like it was right over the head. I, it was like the light and the sound all at the same time. I'm like, woo! That was crazy. Um, yeah, there was. I had to go out this morning um, and fix some things in the chicken runs, but nothing big. Um, last night, I did manage to put out a load of laundry, uh, put some soap in. This morning, my tub was filled up, uh, so I add some more, added some more laundry to it. And I've already out, I can't talk. And I've already been out doing a load of laundry. And it's not even 7.30 a.m. yet. So, um, yeah, I got a little laundry done. I got the first first uh, cycle done. And I put them, I wrung them out, put them on the fence. And hopefully Mother Nature or the Heavenly Father will uh, manage the rest. Anyhow. Um, okay, so I did something with the mushrooms. Uh, no more wood today. I guess, you know what, I'm, I'm not going to do wood for a while. I mean, I'm going to be still doing wood, but I'm not going to do videos on them. That's got to be boring. Uh, i got to show you two new little beautiful creatures that have come to the homestead. And, I don't know, it's supposed to rain like all day, so I'm going to see if I can at least get the part that I can reach with my little step stat. Uh, I can't talk. I've had two sips of coffee with my little step ladder and see if I can get at least some of it done. I'm just so excited. I can't wait to see how much all of that insulation that was given to me off my wish list, um, how much it's going to cover. Um, it's going to look like a disco in here, <laughs> especially if I put up Christmas lights. Anyhow, uh, enough rambling. I got to get, you know, I was going to say I got to get going, but that's, that's a lie. I got to get some more coffee in me. It started raining about two hours earlier than I thought it would, so I've had to bring this inside. I've sliced some of them up. Some of them are still whole, the small ones. I just put them on this foil and hooked a bunch of holes in the foil and uh, put them in my little Coleman oven. I'm going to just watch this. Uh, got it on the propane burner. Um, I may run out of propane. So I'm aiming to get it up to about 120 and just keep it there. So I'll use the propane cooktop until, at least until it runs out. Um, <laughs> look, i got to clean that up. Uh, and then I might just put it on the, the wood burning stove if it starts cooling down a little bit. Because I think this is going to take several hours and I don't think I have enough propane to do it all the way through. They've been in the oven about an hour. I've had to leave the door open and kind of open and close it in accordance with what the temperature is. Uh, so it stopped raining. It's like, I don't know, maybe 4 p.m. So I'm going to go take it out on the rocking stove and see if I can get it, get them to cook down a little bit more. They've reduced their size significantly. So hopefully I can get this done tonight. There they are. They are done, and they dehydrated quite nicely, despite the fact that it started raining and it's very humid today. So yeah, they're they're done. Um, see, they're pretty crispy, and they decrease in volume a lot. So that is wonderful. I'm gonna put them in my little jar that I'd already started collecting dehydrated wild mushrooms in that I found on my property. So I'm gonna do that right now the jar of dehydrated honey mushrooms that I had started and I know that I've done this correctly because I actually bought a very small jar of professionally dehydrated wild mushrooms and they are the same consistency as this so now I'm just going to take these and pop them in here um, and just put them all 
in here, mix them all up, and before you know it, this is going to be a full jar. I'm very pleased with this. Now I know I can dehydrate mushrooms. There it is. So in this jar, there are dehydrated chanterelles, dehydrated um, cinnamon chanterelles. I think that's what they're called. Uh, honey mushrooms and oyster mushrooms. This jar right here is the little tiny jar of dehydrated mushrooms that I bought. And this is their uh, dried oyster mushroom. Theirs are much bigger than the ones that I have, but they're going to rehydrate really, really nice and big. So, yeah, and mine are just as dry, if not drier than this. But the reason why I pulled this out, see that? See that little black, funky-looking mushroom? Well, it's a black fungus, or they call it um, wood ear. I don't know if you remember, I may try and throw like a picture up here. Um, if you remember, I had found some fungus on a tree. It looked jelly-like, kind of like brain or something. It kind of looked like black witch's butter in a way. Um, I found it all over my property. Well, guess what? That is what that is. And I know this because, um, well, it says it on the jar for one, but I rehydrated it and it looks exactly like that funky jelly looking stuff that was on those twigs. In fact, today I came across a little bit of it, but they were just too dirty. Um, so I didn't harvest them. So that's another edible mushroom. And I have eaten them. Um, I rehydrated a few of them and I put them in a soup and they are really, really delicious. And now to introduce you to the new members of the Ann fam. Well, they're not new. That is Splash and that is Raven. And those are two chickens that I gave my next door neighbors. Unfortunately, these two ladies were pestering at least one of their other chickens, I mean, plucking out her feathers, really going after her. So uh, they had gotten some more chickens. And one thing I've learned about these black Asians is they do not like chickens that look very dissimilar to them. So it seems like the really light colored chickens like Roxy. My black Asians, while well, I used to go after her a little bit, but um, not so much now. Uh, so they, they seem to be kind of aggressive, but I've got them back now. Um, during the day, I keep them back here. At night, I open this up. They can roost wherever they want uh, because the other three small chickens like to roost up over there. But they've been going in and out of this little nesting box, and they've been squawking up a storm, so I don't know if they've laid an egg. I wouldn't doubt, no, I doubt, actually, that um, they're laying eggs yet because, you know such a change they kind of stop laying eggs but um eventually i'll let them out with the rest of the flock oh look at raven's just gotten really pretty oh my gosh so uh yeah eventually i'll let them out and uh but for right now i just need to teach them this is their home and um hopefully they will you know <laughs> what are you doing hopefully they will you know free range with the rest and come back here to reach so but it's a process. They gotta learn where their home is first. Yep, look at this. That was Splash that laid this egg her first day back home, and she lays me an egg. I know it's for sure her. Hello, Splash, pretty girl. Come on, turn around. She's not gonna turn around, and I'm stressing the other chickens out, so I'm gonna get out of here. Okay, from left to right, the furthest left is from Beauty. She lays a slightly darker egg. The next one is Scarlet. About the same size, but it's a little bit lighter. And then Splash. Her egg is a nice size egg. And, yeah, it's bigger than the other two's. But she's she's a few, a uh, couple months older than the other chickens. So I am just thrilled that she laid the first day here. I've been going around surveying for, you know, damage, fallen limbs. And I found these. Um, this bark is almost coming off. In fact, it's come loose on certain places, but... I wanted to show you something kind of interesting uh, in the same vein of those mushrooms I had found. See that? I'm not sure if that, oops, I'm not sure if that's uh, black fungus or woodier. That looks more like it. Um, the reason why I question it is because I've got some that's yellowish here and that looks more like witch's butter. But if you look at this, that is exactly 
what that black fungus looks like except this is a lighter color so I'm gonna have to see if it comes in different colors and there's some more on the bottom here Let's see if you can see that uh, there was another piece somewhere and I can't find it um, yeah right here see that right there that looks more like it um, but some pretty moss oh my gosh Look at all these different kinds of things. So I'm going to go look around and see if I can find more with bigger pieces. Yeah, this limb fell, this limb fell. Um, <laughs> it fell nicely on my little wood pile right here. So, um, but look how pretty that is. Ha! I found some. Oh, yes. And this, this is off of this pile that I had kind of cut apart before. Look at this. That's it, folks. I'm pretty sure that's wood ear. I gotta get my little harvesting knife and I'll take some off and find out for sure. But man, what a blessing. Oh my goodness, I found some more. Oh yes, I know that that is what it is. I just know it is. Oh, oh my gosh. Bingo! Double bingo! This is almost all of the harvest that I've got. I've got a, about a half a handful still left down in the bag. I just wanted to show you this. I am definitely going to dehydrate these today. What a blessing. I just can't believe it. I just can't believe it. I got them all cleaned up. And yeah, I had to discard a few. And the next time, I'm not going to get these little tiny, tiny baby ones. Because I'll just leave them on the wood, see if they get bigger. Because when I dehydrate these, I mean, they're just going to disintegrate into nothing. So I may, like, group a few of the really teeny ones together and see if I can just get them to dehydrate together. But, look at it. I just wanted to show you the front and, front and back, you know, what it all looks like. This is one side. This is another side. Is that not the weirdest thing you have ever seen? And tell me down in the comments below, would you eat this? Would you? I read somewhere that this is the mushroom that goes in some Chinese type soups, like maybe the sweet and sour and hot and sour, is it? Hot and sour, sweet and sour, I can't, no, not sweet and sour, the hot and sour soup, yes. Um, I've heard that this is the mushroom that goes into it. And I guess there's quite an industry for it and I got it growing free and wild on my property. Okay, so I'm just going to let these set out for a little while, and um, I'm going to put another paper towel on top of it, so no flies or bugs. Uh, there's hardly any flies, but... What are you... See? See what I mean? Junior just wants to come and chill, and this boy just starts growling. You better be nice. Anyhow, um... <laughs> so that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to cover it with another paper towel and uh, hopefully it'll dehydrate just a little bit and then this evening when the temperature starts dropping because it is going to get cold, I'm going to pop these in the oven and see if I can get these to dehydrate too. I'll let you know how it goes. I can't believe the sun came out. I just, I can't believe it. My clothes are drying. Anyway, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.